Namaste. Today I would like to share with you a healing modality called Reiki. So Reiki is a technique that uses energy to move, remove, and fill up that which the person is intending for. Uh, we cultivate this energy from both the divine and also from the earth and then as well as within ourselves. And I will show you how to do that if you would like to join me. So please find a nice seat on the ground or in a chair and we will begin. So once you've established that nice comfortable seat, let's go ahead and close the eyes. And let's sit up nice and tall in our seats. Really feel the, the sit bones grounding down into the space beneath you. And then at the same time, you're lifting up out of those hip bones, out of your spine, lengthening your spine, your head up towards the ceiling with your shoulders pulled down away from the ears. And with the eyes closed, you're just cultivating this internal sense, this, this peace this feeling of groundedness within yourself. So start to bring awareness to the breath, how it moves in and out of your body. And see if you can just relax every single body part here, in your body, in your mind, and in your spirit. And once you've found a nice rhythm with your breath and you've said hello to yourself, we will start to begin this little exercise of cultivating energy into ourselves so that we, we can use it towards other people. And this is what Reiki is all about. It's cultivating this energy within ourselves so that we can send it out to those who need it, who need healing, love, and extra light in their lives. And it could be for you as well which is the beauty about Reiki. It could be for yourself, for others, etc. So I want you to start inhaling your breath in through the soles of your feet. Think of the earth energy. You're pulling the earth energy up through the soles of your feet. And you're bringing it up your legs, all the way up your torso, all the way up to your heart. And I like to imagine it as a green light, but that's just my personal thing. If you want, you can imagine another color or just not imagine anything at all. So you're pulling this energy in through the earth, through the soles of your feet and all the way up to your heart. And then once it touches your heart, you're going to exhale and then bring that earth energy, that breath back down past your torso, your hips, all the way down your legs and out through the soles of your feet back to the earth. And you're going to do this a few times. You're going to inhale, pull the energy up through the soles of your feet all the way up to your heart. And as soon as it meets the heart, it pulls back down on the exhale all the way back to the earth. So it's this give and take exchange of energy through the earth. With the inhales, you're drawing the earth energy in. And with the exhales, you're giving the energy back to the earth. Nice. Let's do one more round of this. And then we're going to leave that image and then we're going to come to the head, the crown of the head. And you're going to think of pulling energy in through the crown of your head from the divine, from the cosmos. And again, you can think of a light or a color for this. I usually think of like a nice gold color light, but again, it's up to you. You don't have to. And you're pulling this gold light energy in through the crown of your head and it comes all the way down your head, past your face, past your neck, and it comes to meet at your heart space. And then as you exhale, it's going to come back up from the heart, up the throat, the face, out the crown of the head, and back up to the cosmos. And again, you're going to keep doing that. As you inhale, you're going to draw that energy in towards your heart from the crown of your head. And then on the exhale, you bring it back up out the crown of the head. So just like we did with the earth through the soles of the feet, you're doing this with the cosmos, the light source through the crown of the head. You're drawing it in. And let's do a couple more of that. Still sitting up nice and tall in your seat. Still thinking of groundedness in your hip bones. Very good. So now we're going to interchange between the two. So you're going to inhale through the soles of your feet 
all the way up to the heart. And then on the exhale, you're going to pull that divine energy, that light source down through the crown of your head to meet at the heart. Again, as you inhale, you're through the soles of your feet, up the heart. And then on the exhale, you're pulling that breath all the way down from the cosmos to your heart. Again, inhaling up through the earth source exhaling down through the divine source nice let's do a couple more rounds of that and if you're a visual person like me you're inhaling you're breathing in that green light from the earth source or whatever color you imagine and then on the exhale you breathe down that gold light or again whatever color you imagine and while you do this you're thinking of this this you know, your heart swelling up with this energy could be with gold and green light or it could just be just a nice color it could be a feeling like your heart is bursting or it's opening up and then you're going to take this energy and you're going to take it from your heart and you're going to pull it up through your shoulders and then down to your arms all the way out to your hands and your hands should be sitting up on your lap like with their hands the palms facing up towards the ceiling and it's like you're holding imaginary bowls in your hands you are going to think of this energy coming up through your hands now so you're still inhaling through the earth exhaling through the divine cosmos from above you and then this energy is coming out from the heart down your arms and out your hands and i like to say that the arms are tiny tendrils of the heart and perhaps you feel this energy through the palms of your hands. If you don't, you want to kind of kickstart it. You can always rub the hands together a few times just to kind of warm them up. Otherwise, just continue holding the bowls of light. And then you can stop and with the movement of the hands and just notice the warmth energy. And then you're going to bring your palms close together but they're not going to touch and you're just going to kind of feel this energy maybe you feel this ball of energy maybe you move the hands up then below it circle around this ball of energy maybe it's a baseball size energy or maybe it's you move it out to a basketball shape size energy and you're just kind of moving with this And then you're going to take this energy and you're going to place it on any part of your body that you feel might need extra attention. Maybe you have a sore body part or maybe you're going through a sickness or something or respiratory or anything. I'm having some shoulder pain right now, so I'm going to place my hands right up on top of the shoulder blade. One in back, one hand in back and one in the front and just hold it there. Maybe you feel that energy move through your body move through that source that space that you're holding and you can stay here and hang out for a little bit or if you want to continue on you can take the hands out forward the palms facing out and maybe think of a friend or a loved one that you want to send this energy to and think of that friend or an image or a picture of that friend or maybe it's an animal and it's filling up with this light that you're sending out through your hands. Nice. And then, of course, anything else you can think of. I like to always bless the planet with this. So think of the Earth, the planet Earth in your mind's eye. And then using the hands, hovering it over that imaginary planet that you, or the imaginary Earth that you're holding in your mind's eye. And you're just bringing energy towards the planet Earth. Nice. So when you're done, you can open the eyes, shake it out. I like to drink some water or ground myself by walking barefoot in the sand or the earth. Even washing your hands is really good, too, to clear the energy. I hope this helped, and I hope you use this often. Thank you. Namaste.